spend a lot of time figuring out what we disagree on as Republicans and Democrats. And as a freshman Republican on the House Appropriations Committee, I've seen some uh, partisan battles that make your skin crawl. It's tough stuff. But I can tell you, uh, if we spend time talking to one another, and spend time listening to one another, understanding each other's ideas and our hopes and our dreams, we'll find that we as Americans are much more united than we are divided. And although it may be convenient in the media, it may be convenient for election, electioneering uh, to find ways that we can divide one another, we know that at the end of the day, we all agree that we have to provide an opportunity for every American to realize their dreams. It doesn't matter whether you're born in uh, a very well-to-do neighborhood or a poverty-stricken neighborhood, that it's heartbreaking to think that an intelligent young mind is lost in the shuffle because of their own circumstances based on the poverty they grow up in. And so we've seen firsthand the impact that early childhood education has on young minds. For many of these children, if they miss this opportunity at ages three and four and five to learn those basic skills, they need to be behind forever. And being behind forever means a cycle of poverty, it means a cycle of dependency. And so as we debate about what to do on social programs, and they're very tough debates, one thing we should all agree on is that the best investment we can make in our dollars is at the very front, where we can make a difference, and we can give these young students, these young minds, the opportunity to succeed, to realize their dreams. Now then if they don't choose that opportunity, well that's another debate we can have in another room at another time. But in terms of making sure that everybody has that chance, nothing can be more American. And so, so as we work through what is an extremely difficult challenge that neither party can solve on their own, a national debt that's towering at 16 trillion that cannot be overlooked, an unemployment rate at 8.5%, those issues dominate. And, and, and they really should. They're, they're critical issues for our future. We don't want kids to come out of high school uh, and not have a job. We don't want kids to come out of college and be saddled with debt and not have a job. So these are very important issues. They all work together. But as we focus on those issues, we cannot lose sight of the opportunities that will be missed if we shortchange our youngest minds. And so I'm happy to stay with you. I'm happy to work hard as we find bipartisan solutions to our country's problems. And one thing I think we can all agree on is it is it investing in the future starts with our kids.